Hello everyone, welcome to today's class. The topic that we are going to cover today is distance vector routing, its drawbacks and solution. The first topic that we are going to see today is count to infinity. Here we are given a scenario where we have a collection of routers. We can also refer to the routers as nodes. So for node A and B, we are given the routing table. This is not a routing table but a part of a routing table which can be referred to as root. So root is basically a record of the routing table. We have already seen that in this root, this is the destination. This is the distance between node 8 and its destination and this is the next hop. So the distance between node A and node X is 1 since we have to only travel one hop and the distance between node B to node X is 2 since we have to travel two hops and it is given here as 2 and the next stop of B is set as A since we need to go to A in order to travel to X. Now if for some reason the link between node X and node A is broken then the distance between node A and X can be set as infinity. In distance vector routing protocol, it has already been established that if there is any decrease in cost, that news propagates quickly. But if there is any increase in cost, it propagates slowly. So since here the link was broken, it resulted in an increase in cost. So node A will take some considerable amount of time to update all of its neighboring routers about this situation. Now let us move on to how count to infinity problem occurs with two nodes. So here we have previously seen that distance between node A and node X is set as 1 and the distance between node B and X is set as 2. So if for some reason the link between node X and node A gets broken, the distance of node A to X is set as infinity. Now the situation would have been okay if node A would have sent this route to B. Then node B could have updated its routing table and set the distance for node B to node X as infinity. But for some reason, if node B sent this route before node A can send the updated route, then what will happen is node A will think that node B has found an alternate way to X and thus it will update its routing table. So again for a periodic update node A will send its routing table to node B and node B will again update its routing table as 4. So in this way this situation keeps occurring and gradually the distances becomes infinity. So during this system this whole system became unstable. So now if a packet which was destined to X was sent to node A then what will happen is node A knows that in order to go to X it needs to go to B first. So node A will send the packet to B. Now node B will think that in order to send this packet to X it needs to go to A. So the packet will be sent to A. In this way node A and B will keep sending the packet back and forth and the whole system will become unstable. Now let us look at some solution. So the first and most simplest solution is to redefining infinity. So thus we can redefine infinity to a smaller number such as 16. For our previous scenario, the system will be stable in a pure updates. As a matter of fact, most implementations of the distance vector protocol define 16 as infinity. Another solution is split horizon. So in split horizon, instead of sharing the whole information of the routing table, only part of the routing table information is shared. Previously, the looping problem occurred when the link was broken and node B sent its routing table to node A and again node A sent its updated route to node B and the looping problem occurred. So now what split horizon suggests is that node B doesn't need to advertise this route to node A. Since this route was already obtained from A, node B doesn't need to advertise this information to A. In this way, if node B 
doesn't advertise this information to node A, the distance of node B and X is still 2 and when node A will send its update to node B, then node B can update its routing table and set this distance as infinity. So in this way the problem is resolved. Now let us look at another solution which is poison reverse combined with split horizon. Now in split horizon there is some drawback. Normally in the distance vector protocol uses a timer and if there is no news about a route the node deletes the route from its table. So previously when node B eliminates the route to X from advertisement to A node A cannot guess that this is due to split horizon strategy or because B has not received any news about X recently. So if we combine the split horizon with poison reverse we can overcome this problem. Now in poison reverse this strategy dictates that node B can still advertise the route for X but if the source of information is A it can replace the distance with infinity as warning. So this warning will be do not use this value what I know about this route comes from you. Therefore we can see that node B can still advertise this piece of information to node A given that this distance is set as infinity. So this infinity will tell node A that this is a warning. Do not use this piece of information because this was obtained from you. Now let us look at the three node instability or three node problem. Here we are given three nodes or routers A, B and C. The distance from node A to X is 1. The distance from node C to node X is 2. Here 1 and 2. And the distance from node B to X is 2 as well. 1 and 2. And both of the next hop for node B and node C is A and A. Now if for some certain reason the link between node X and A is broken, the distance between node X and A will be set as infinity which refers that there is no available path between X and A. Now node A needs to send this routing table to node B and C. But on its way from node A to node C this packet has been lost. Let us assume that this packet has been lost. So only no node B can update its routing table and set the distance as infinity but C can't do that. Now after some time when C will send this routing table to node B, node B will think that node C has found some alternative way to reach X. Thus node B will update its routing table according to the distance vector protocol algorithm. Now after some time node B will send its routing table to node A. Now node A will think that node B has found some alternative way to reach X. So node A will update its routing table and it will also become fooled. Now again after some time node A will send this updated routing table to node C and node C will think that there might have been a change in the network and node C will again update this routing table and the cost will be set as say 5. So in this way this loop will occur and if the instability is between three nodes then stability cannot be guaranteed. This will be all for today's class. Hope you enjoyed this.